All right, welcome back. Our temperatures very comfortable here this afternoon, but they've already hit their peak. Grand Rapids was at 80 degrees just about two hours ago. Now continuing to fall back into the mid 70s. We have our first 60 degree of the evening back to 69 in Whitehall, while it's 75 in Muskegon. The warmest air is mostly off to the east side of the state. Cold water officially dropped back to 79, so there are now no more 80s here in West Michigan. Albion at the last one at 80, 77 in Hopkins, just 72 in Saugatuck, 73 in South Haven, but that's not stopping people from getting out to the beach this evening. South side of the piers, much safer to swim, even though we still have a yellow flag posted. Kite surfers getting their money's worth here today. Notice the north side pier, lots of chop there with what has been a north northwest stiff breeze at 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to subside a little bit into tomorrow, but it will still be noticeable into our Thursday. Ravana, just a few isolated cumulus clouds. Otherwise, it has been all sunshine here today. We really need it. And thankfully, the dry air is settling in here as well. Dew points continuing to fall. Our lowest of the day, now a dew point of 48 in Big Rapids. Still a 60 in Benton Harbor, but from Benton Harbor to Hastings, it's kind of where the cold front has set up and low 50s to the north. It's only getting drier and drier here overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We'll all be right around 49 to 50 for a dew point. So really crisp, really refreshing. You can turn off the AC. It's windows open weather here for the next few days, really probably three or four nights. That coolest air peaks here tomorrow. We'll sort of moderate out into Friday and Saturday, but the dew points really don't climb back for a few extra days. And the warmest air really doesn't start to come back until Monday or Tuesday. So it's not overly significant here with our warming trend. It's just going to be slow and steady. Tonight, 54 degrees for the overnight low with the clear skies and calm winds. Again, winds are light out of the north, but it's radiative cooling that kicks in. So here's that wind tonight falls fairly quiet. Nothing more than five to seven miles per hour. Still will be a little breezier along the lakeshore into Thursday. But Thursday afternoon, inland areas will have a fairly light north wind. So that's what's going to help get those temperatures start to warm back up here once we get into Friday and the weekend. Uh, now to future track rain stays to the east in the state of Michigan here tonight. With that, most of the cloud cover is gone as well. We shouldn't see any clouds until probably midday, maybe early afternoon on Thursday. Just a few pop up cumulus clouds, fairly seasonable uh, instance. It'll kind of come off the lake breeze here tomorrow and then into Friday, more of the same, but expecting more sunshine on less pop up cumulus clouds here for the next few days. So Friday is the sunniest. Thursday is the coolest, but we're still looking at three, potentially four nights in a row falling back into the 50s. So really don't need the AC until we get to probably Sunday or Monday, at least consistently. And once that warm air starts to settle back in, well, that's when we see our rain chances start to pick up here on Tuesday and Wednesday. But those are not associated with any major system rolling in. Just looks like just those instability pop up chances here as we get into the middle of next week. So very pleasant seven day forecast.